All right, what is good? Welcome to the syllabus tour for Cine 399 South Park and Society. Um, yeah, this is the tour of the syllabus. You can take it or not. And this is for the summer version of this class, which is a little bit different than other versions. Um, yo, at the top of the syllabus, you can see the vitals, the important information. My name, as I said, Call me Andre, you know what I mean? The real Dr. Dre, food stamp, whatever. Um, um, list my office hours. Listen, let me just say this about my office hours. I have real crap internet here um, at the farm. So, you know, sometimes I can't get <clears throat> Zoom to work properly. So if we're having one of those moments, you know what I mean? Um, or the, the Zoom session ain't going, just call me, hit me up on my cell. That's, that's, that does actually, actually, actually work up here. All right. Um, so my cell phone number is there. Um, you can check out my social medias, DJ Food Stamp 33 um, on Instagram and the tick that talks, although I don't really do nothing there. Um, but, uh, and then my SoundCloud, if you want to check out, check out my hot trap beats. Not, I, I don't make trap beats, but you know, whatever music that I make. Um, so a couple important things, really communicating with me. Yo, listen, how we're going to communicate in this class is very, very simple. I'm going to make announcements, all right, and announcements on the Canvas page. And that should shoot you an email. If it doesn't, you can go in and I give you little instructions, uh, go into your account and check the, and set, set the notifications so you get notified. But it should go to your email and it should remain static under announcements. So. You know, you should check that every once in a while. I won't bombard you like a lot of faculty do with emails, but it's there. If you got to hit me up, hit me up through Canvas or email. Um, but make sure you put Cine 399 in the subject header just so I know what class you're in. Uh, I often have multiple classes running, so just so I know what class you're in. Um, yeah, so like I said, my office hours, they're listed. Should be on Zoom, but you know, you never know. So either way, just call me. I give you my cell phone number. Like if you need to hit me up, if you have an emergency question or emergency issue or something, that's an easy, easy way to get in touch with me. Um, you know, but you know, mind the time, you know, if you hit me up at like midnight or something, um, you know, that's kind of just rude, but I'll, I'll, I'll hit you back when I get up in the morning at 5 a.m. So um, you know, old man stees on you with that. So just be mindful of that. Like, don't abuse the cell phone. Um, you know, so um, that's that. Anyways, um, yo, this is an online course. Did you know that? Did you know that? Yeah, it's an online course, right? It's, so it's like, this is up to you. Your success in this class is up to you. It's a choose your own adventure. You know, it's, you know, you got to get up and you got to do the thing. So you're expected to do four modules per week, but I've, you know, you could do the whole class in a week for real, if you're a real go-getter, um, you know, but it's on your own time. You know, you should do at least four modules per week. And in fact, you know, you kind of got to in a way because um, there's responses and quizzes that are all due each Sunday. <clears throat> uh, you know, so just be mindful of that. But if you really want to go ahead and just start knocking them out, you, 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 can, you know, you can do that. Okay. But like, here's the deal is like, I'm not going to cook your grilled cheese or fold your laundry or wake you up for class. You know what I'm saying? Like metaphorically do that shit for you. You know, you, you got to like be on point with doing the modules, doing the assignments, just being on point. Cause you're in class, but you ain't in class. You know what I mean? So I'm not there to like, you know, clean up after you, so to, so to speak. I'm a dad, you know, so like, you know, <clears throat> I'm making dad references here, okay? Uh, the main thing, the main thing, and I'm gonna get up into the camera for this. <clears throat> the main thing about the lectures and the, the videos and all that um, is this. They were shot, you know, in spring of 2020. So do not pay any attention to anything where I say this will be on the exam or this is due next week or anything like that. Ignore that shit. Ignore all time-based stuff. Um, follow the canvas. The canvas is money town. Uh, but, but, you know, anything time-based that I say in the lecture videos, just ignore it. There are no exams, you know, <clears throat> all that stuff. So follow the canvas. But 
with the lecture videos. The content is on point. You know what I'm saying? It's on point. So, um, you know, but just do be mindful of that. There, there are some like time based things. Just ignore that shit. Um, you know, technical requirements to be in this class, it's pretty damn simple, right? Like you got to have a Wi-Fi connection and a computer. And I'm going to say computer instead of a phone. You know, you could do a lot of this shit on your phone, but the quizzes, and I state this in the quiz section, like don't do the quizzes on your phone. Uh, Canvas does not like Safari. It's down for like Chrome, it's down for Firefox also, but no Safari, I don't like it. So don't do this stuff on your phone. So you need Wi-Fi and you need to have a computer, access to a computer. All right, so what's this class about? Listen, yo, 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 yo. I don't read syllabi. I don't do it. It's an insult to your intelligence. It's so corny. It's almost as bad as when faculty read off of slides. Uh, I don't do that either. Um, <clears throat> okay, so uh, just, you know, what the hell? You're in a class about South Park. Let me just say that. I mean, that is just... You're in a class about South Park. Like, that's nuts. Um, <clears throat> it's amazing just where this world is, has come, you know, to, to that's where what's happening, okay? But we're going to put the show in context. We're going to also look at, you know, we're going to look at, um, we're going to watch a bunch of different episodes. We're going to look at specific topics that the show addresses. We're going to look at those topics broadly in society and culture, and then how the show represents those things. We're going to look at critical and cultural and social theory and how that is incorporated into the show or use that to look at the show and to critique the show, um, all, all that stuff. So we're really going to kind of like broadly um, look at the show, you know, um, you know, as a piece of art, um, you know, as a show with a message, whatever, um, but also a show that's, you know, wrong, you know, some, in a lot of ways, you know, like misses misses what it's trying to say, you know, and is just offensive. But, like, what's the value of being offensive, you know, um, in some ways? What's the value of shit jokes, you know? Um, you know, that's kind of, like, where we're going to be at. So we're going to really just kind of, like, really deconstruct the show. We're going to look at specific episodes, clips. Uh, we're going to watch some documentaries, you know, all that. But it should be a pretty fun course, yo. Like, you can read what the class is about but really you know it's about critical thinking thinking critically um you know how does that happen in the show how does the show how can the show make us like how can we think critically about ass jokes i don't know but we're gonna talk about that in this class you know what i'm saying so it should be fun you should have a good time you're gonna watch a lot of fucking south park episodes but you know um and you may hate the show i mean that's the thing like you don't have to like the show um, I may come off as like a douchey fanboy uh, of, of the show because like, yeah, I watched the first episode when it came out. I watched it in the, you know, late 90s when it when it first was on Comedy Central when I was a teenage boy, you know, <clears throat> late teenager. All right. Um, but I also think the show is bad in some ways, you know, uh, especially, you know, when they start tackling social issues, how do they hit and miss there? But, you know. The whole thing is like, and I'll just put this here, is like, we interpret the show, right? We are part, we are the authors in so many ways of, of the show because we create meaning from it. And so that means different things for, for different people. But I just want us to think about the world, you know? I just want us to think critically, you know, um, and engage in, in, in sort of, you know, uh, media literacy in, in, in many ways. And we use the show as a launch point for that. Um, learning objectives, you can read about that shit if you want to read about that. Okay. Um, I put a little disclaimer in there. You know, it's a parody. Blah, blah, blah. 